Hello everyone, it's your boy Manalti here, and I'm bringing you back with another Dokkan video. So today we're going to be taking a look at the New Year's Celebration info for the JP version of Dokkan Battle. Now before we continue on, feel free to go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and do all that fun stuff for the New Year 2022 finally coming. Very excited, very uh, interested in pushing things out for my channel, my Twitch, and everything like that. So why not go ahead and subscribe if you enjoyed the content so far. And feel free to check out my other content right there, you know? Pretty Pogus. Um, th I don't think this is new Vegeta art, but this is very sus. Now, um, so this is this, uh, letter that they gave last year. If you remember last year, it was Gogeta and Janemba here. Right now, it's Goku, Kid Buu, you know, because we're in the Majin Buu saga again. If we say if we look at here. Happy New Year's. Thank you for your continued patronage of Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle last year. We started with the 6th anniversary campaign and, uh, introduced support memories and resurrection skills. Uh, then... And the 350 million download campaign, we were able to become one, one with all users over the world. In addition, they started the super large update version Z, which is a big leap for Dokkan Battle. Um, they feel that this is due to the support of our users, and they thank you for that. They say that Dokkan aims for further evolution, and they were going to hold a New Year Dokkan Festival and a great deal today. So, there's going to be an extra sale in the 60 zone slot for both JP and Global, I believe. And, um, it's probably going to be, like, you know, like, enough so that you can get all the steps done, I'm assuming. In addition, they're planning to hold many new events, such as the Gunyu Force Fighting Pose. With gorgeous New Year's bonuses long and rewards, please look forward to it. And Dokkan Battle will celebrate its 7th anniversary. And they will do their best to deliver memorable experience for all users. Now, um, so essentially what this is saying is it's just saying thank you. They're giving us some plans on what they're doing for the future, such as, you know, the uh, New Year's Do Step Up Dokkan Festival, the Guinea Force Fighting Pose login bonus, which that login bonus is pretty good. We'll go ahead and talk about it right now, but stuff like that. I swear. Where uh, they also stated in another letter that they are planning and having more updates to version Z, which I feel like was pretty obvious because this was uh, the previous update that we got was version Z part one. So I'm very excited to see what they have in store. Dokkan definitely, I feel like it's not dying anytime soon or anything like that. Uh, very excited to see what's going on with Dokkan in the future. So next, let's go ahead and cover the actual celebration info right here. So uh, you get 22 dragon stones and a uh, Jackie Chun diamond statue. This actually does give a solid amount of Zenny from what I'm seeing. Like, 2 million, like, or is it like 20 million, 22,000, Zenny or something like that, which is pretty good. Um, and of course, the New Year's Ginyu Force Fighting Pose. So, right here, this login bonus is very good this time because you are guaranteed to either get the 5 stone login bonus or the 7 stone login bonus. Let me actually bring that up here. Luka Dokkan made a post about it. But you can only get one of those two. And along, so that means that you're guaranteed to get Kai's for every login bonus. This goes on for a whole week. So, you know, if you're struggling on Kai's a little, you can um, get a solid amount. And I see right here, Ginyu login, login bonus only has 5 and 7. Now, this happens usually only on JP. We don't know if this is going to come to Global again this year. But again, these are the rewards. Uh, if you get super lucky, you could also get a Jackie Chun statue, which is pretty good. Um, either way, you're guaranteed to get at least five, which is very, very exciting. And you get some Kai's and stuff in Zenny. So, I, I very much like that. Um, we have the uh, Ultimate Clash we're coming. I mean, that we already knew that from previously, so that's not much of a surprise. We have these banners returning. Um... The type banners, they're going to be up for a certain amount of times, and it looks like you can only do one multi and eat them. I would say, personally, don't summon on these. <laughs> the reason why you don't want to summon on these is because, well, they're just, they were literally upcoming on the next anniversary for JP, and it's like, you want to save as many stones for the anniversary as you can. Or even if it's a step up, if you want to summon on the step up, that's a way better option than summoning on these banners, in my personal opinion. I mean... I would say, uh, so I took a drink of my soda there. <laughs> I would say, if you are a whale, or you don't care, have your spender in the game, and you're like, I don't care, I spend money already, I don't have these units, go for it. Like, if you're disabled, like me or a content creator or something that you don't have, you know, these units, and why not? But I would say, if you're like free to play, you're not, you know, doing content, or you're just kind of sitting there and, you know, you just don't have these units, I would still say, wait and skip. You never know what they're going to do with these units, and a lot of them aren't really that great anymore, like, you know, Gohan. Tian, you know, Sal, Vegeta, Pan, none of, none of those guys are really great. The other five are still pretty solid. Um, but even then, I feel like they could still, you know, 
use them up. They have been aging a little now. You see, like, Heart Virus Goki here, Goten and Gohan, freeze, and you're like, oh my god, these banners are, like, wow, you know, the, the, they're featured, right? And it's like, that's cool. That's definitely nice, but I still feel like it's not worth summoning on these. Uh, it's worth saving either for the 7th anniversary. Even the step up, like, for a lot of older players, it might not be as good. Now, there's hints uh, at the step up having, like, a really good step uh like you know step in it compared to the previous years it could be possible for like dokkan fest exclusive step or something but i that's all speculation there but either way don't summon on this also this guy sucks i don't know why he's there this should be second form so <laughs> like why is it why is it frieza is it because the tournament of power theme i guess but then there's like go to <laughs> whatever dude I, I, it's like they all fit the themes and there's like this skeleton with tian and okay <laughs> whatever man Okay, so next we have Mighty Mask. We're getting a banner from Don't Summon. And Goten and Trunks are getting an easy. So this was my most expected easy. Um, simply because they usually go back and forth between TURs and LRs. We just got Future Gohan like a week -ish ago. Like a week or two ago or so. And we had in the news the statement that the Nimbus Nimbles were going to be exchangeable permanently. So there's no cap. These guys awaken from those Nimbus Metals. If we take a look here. To get to them to an LR, they were good for these metals. Now, um, it's the same for like Bojack and then these two units, but it was pretty obvious Goten and Trunks were going to get an LR EZA. Um, now, my hopes for Goten and Trunks get rid of this. this, this these get rid of super attacks, get rid of them. I, I hate that. Um, it just doesn't make sense to lower their own attacking defense. It's like, Please get rid of that. <laughs> Make this raise attack and then raise attack and defense instead. How about that? That would be ideal. Uh, that would be a very ideal change. I want this to become 50% defense one turn. And this become 50% attack and defense for three turns. Uh, it's a 70% chance and a 30% attack for three gold tanks. If they change this to like 50-50, I think that would be pretty cool as well. Like, you know, just secret like small things like that to change. Um... This, uh, who knows what they're going to do. I mean, they're going to do a billion things. Maybe they'll get something when facing a Majin Power enemy, when attacking it. Ooh, you know what? The thing about... So, I think it's the thing when attacking an extreme class enemy. That will still be pretty solid, honestly. It's not, like, as great as attacking a super class. But you can see when attacking an extreme class enemy. Actually, I'm always okay with this. Because it's always at least their key. And it's an even chance for each one of them. So, usually you get pretty lucky with key, I feel like. Um... They actually still hit pretty solid numbers. Their offense stat is pretty high, uh, even nowadays for like LRs. Like if we take a look here, as, 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 well, I wouldn't say pretty high. Oh, wait. I cleared my cash and cookies recently. Oh no, wait. Ah, uh, DBZ starts space. I did it. Ah, what can I say? I'm so good at this game. Anyways, if we sort by attack, not HP, attack, and then we display attack. Go ten and trunks right here. Then the third row, which is not bad. Like you like look at the LRs around them, for example. Some of them have been more recent. Like this guy is more recent, this guy's more recent, more recent. You know, pretty solid attack set. So that's why they still hit pretty solid numbers, especially with all the attack they get from links. I feel like I, I've seen them hit pretty hard. Uh like you know, five, six million attack sets in like showcase settings. Now obviously you want them to be more consistent with that. Um, but this is uh this is already a good start make this attack and defense 120 percent when it's no make this attack and defense 150 percent when performing a super attack and what if they get like a support type buff or something for like entrusted will or like you know hybrids or boost or something it can be very interesting to see how they handle this unit um a lot of fusion stuff happening recently as well like look at all this like the fusion stuff, fusion stuff, Potara right here because this Vegeta base video is probably gonna easy A. I mean, and we got the other fusions easy A's. I'm just saying, it, it, it is a pretty solid hint towards us getting um like fusions for an anniversary. But like, oh my god, what a shocker, right? Fusions for anniversary, yeah. But um, we'll have to wait and see, I guess. And that pretty much everything else that we already knew. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think if you're excited uh, for Goten and Trunks, I guess. I'm sure many people won't be excited. I personally, it'll be interesting to see. It's a hybrid Saiyan buff. So, that's all I need. Finally, our hybrid Saiyan buff, man. Easy clap. But, yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.